When it comes to how we eat, there are a few techniques that we can try. The recommendation out there is to chew at least 20, 30 times before you swallow, to the point it's almost like mashed potato consistency in your mouth. There is an enzyme in our saliva called amylase, and that helps us to digest the carbohydrates. If you eat too fast, you may swallow too much air, and that can also lead to some GI distress, maybe some pain, or maybe some bloating, because air is gas. The time of day or timing of meals does play a role. For example, if you wake up in the morning and you just don't feel well, you may skip meals. And then you get to a point that you get so hungry that your afternoon meal is this large meal and may lead to overeating. If you're feeling ill in the evenings and you may not eat as much, and then the next morning you may feel better and then you're really hungry because you did not eat the night before, and then again, it leads to eating a large meal, and then again, the cycle continues. So the timing of meals, of how well the meals are spaced apart, how large the meals all play a role, and how well you're gonna feel after you eat a particular meal. The kindest thing that you can do to help you overall tolerate your meals and ease digestion is applying small, frequent meals. Be mindful of how much food you put on your plate. Be cautious of second helpings. Know when you start to feel full. That is when you stop eating. Even if it means leaving a little bit of food on your plate, that's okay. It's also important to pay attention to what part of the day are your symptoms worse. The part of the day that your symptoms are non-existent is where I would encourage you to still apply that small frequent meal, but perhaps it could be a little bigger than the other parts of the day where your symptoms are not extensive. Mm -hmm.